Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given f of z which is u plus i v, a regular function of z and we have to prove this expression equal to 0. Let's start from f of z. So, f of z is given as u plus i v. Now, argument of f of z is tan inverse imaginary part which is v divided by real part which is u. Now coming to the left hand side of the expression we have del square of argument f of z. Now del square operator is dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square this whole thing into tan inverse v by u. Now we have to take this tan inverse v by u for both the terms. So first term is dou square by dou x square of tan inverse v by u plus dou square by dou y square of tan inverse v by u. This second derivative we have to evaluate step by step. So first part is dou by dou x of dou by dou x of tan inverse v by u and in the same way the second part is dou by dou y of dou by dou y of tan inverse v by u. So we have to evaluate first derivative then we have to evaluate the second derivative. Now the first part will become outside dou by dou x is written as it is and derivative of tan inverse v by u is 1 by 1 plus v by u whole square. Now by chain rule this v by u we have to evaluate using the quotient rule that is numerator derivative v derivative with respect to x is vx and we have to write the denominator as it is minus numerator we have to write as it is and derivative of denominator is ux whole division denominator square. So we completed using the chain rule. In the same way for the second term it is dou by dou y of we can just copy this term but the only thing is it is with respect to y. So v by u whole square and then here it is v y into u minus v into u y whole division u square. Now let us simplify this. The first term dou by dou x bracket open. When I take this term individual square and I, when I take LCM, the LCM is u square. So here it will become u square plus v square by u square. And here it is v x u minus v u x by u square. So we can cancel u square in the same way the second term also we can simplify. So plus dou by dou y of this is 1 here in the numerator. So 1 by u square plus v square by u square and this is v y u minus v u y whole division u square. So we can cancel this. Now we just take a small rearrangement dou by dou x of numerator is v x u minus v u x whole division u square plus v square and the second term is dou by dou y of v y u minus v u y whole division u square plus v square. 
now we have to perform the differentiation of this entire term using the quotient rule so first we have to differentiate the numerator when we differentiate the numerator this entire term here each term we have to do the product rule so differentiation of the numerator will be vx derivative is vxx and u we have to keep as it is plus vx we have to keep as it is derivative of u is ux in the same way minus let's keep this in a separate bracket minus this again product rule so v derivative is vx ux we have to keep as it is plus v we have to keep as it is and ux derivative is uxx so we have just completed the derivative of the numerator and with this we have to write the denominator as it is then minus we have to write the numerator as it is and evaluate the derivative of the denominator which is 2u ux plus 2v vx so whole division denominator square which is u square plus v square whole square now coming to the second term we have to copy the same thing but in place of with respect to x we can put with respect to y because the terms are similar so we can quickly write it using in the same way v y y u plus v y u y so i'm just copying all the terms from the beginning and it is with respect to y so i am writing it accordingly so this is v y u y plus v u y y this whole thing into u square plus v square then minus v y u minus v u y into 2 u u y plus 2 v v y whole division u square plus v square whole square and here when i take this minus sign inside these two terms gets cancelled so the remaining will be the first term which is v x x u then we have to take this minus sign inside so v minus v u x x this is the term remaining so v x x u minus v u x x then outside we have u square plus v square so this entire product with u square plus v square along with that minus of these terms we have to write that is v x u minus v u x into 2 times of u u x plus 2 times of v v x and along with that plus even when this minus sign is taken inside u y v y gets cancel and the remaining terms will be v y y u minus v u y y into u square plus v square minus v y u minus v u y and with this we have a product of 2 u u y plus 2 v v y and we can make a common denominator u square plus v square whole square so u square plus v square whole square now we have to group the terms let's group this first and the third set of terms in which we can take u square plus v square common after taking u square plus v square common the remaining terms are v x x u minus v u x x 
plus v y y u minus v u y y and from second set of term and third set of term we can take minus 2 common after taking minus 2 common here we have a product of v x u minus v u x with this u u x plus v v x then plus because we have taken minus 2 common v y u minus v u y with this u u y plus v v y then bracket close whole division we have the common denominator u square plus v square whole square now we are going to use Laplace equation which is u x x plus u y y equal to 0 and v x x plus v y y equal to 0. So here we have u x x and v x x and the last term is v u y y. So we are going to take minus v common from this and again from this we can take u common. So let us write it again. So the outside term is u square plus v square and from the first and the third if I take u common we get v x x plus v y y then minus v common we get u x x plus u y y then minus 2 we can also use CR equation in the same step that is use CR equation the CR equation is ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx so wherever with respect to y is there we will replace with respect to x so these terms we are going to change with respect to x using this here equation so the first term is written as it is v x u minus v u x then u u x plus v v x plus instead of v y we can write u x u minus v u y is minus v x so we have to make this as plus and we have to write v x and again product of u into u y is minus v x so minus v x and v y is u x plus v u x so we have replaced it and we have a common denominator whole division u square plus v square whole square now using the laplace equation these two terms are zero so the first part is u square plus v square into u into 0 minus v into 0 then apart from that we have minus 2 into we have to multiply all these terms so when i multiply u square u x v x this is the first term then when i multiply this one plus u v and v x whole square then when I multiply this minus u v u x square then the last term minus v square u x v x then plus if I multiply this we have minus u square u x v x and when I multiply this plus u v u x square and when I multiply this minus u v v x square and the last term is plus v square u x v x.
So we multiplied and we have a common denominator which is u square plus b square whole square. Now u square ux vx. So if I have again u square ux vx with opposite sign we can cancel. Similarly uv vx square and uh, uv minus vx square this we can cancel then minus uv ux square plus uv ux square we can cancel and ux vx v square with opposite sign we can cancel so everything gets cancelled so finally the numerator is first term is 0 second term also completely 0 so 0 by u square plus v square whole square that is also 0 so we took the LHS and we got the RHS. The question is we have to prove del square argument of f of z is equal to 0. So we started from LHS and we got the 0 RHS on the other side.